Hello ladies, I want to continue this video message from two days ago when I made one about women who have affairs with men of God in the kingdom. And I made the video message because it's something that's very common and it's something that's very prevalent that goes on in the kingdom. But a lot of times people sweep it under the rug. They don't expose it and they don't talk about it a lot. But ladies, I want you to know something. When a man of God, a married man of God, whether it's a bishop, a minister, an elder, a pastor, a deacon, when they have an affair with an outside woman, a lot of times they are sleeping with you because it could be that it's something they are lacking sexually from their wife. And they feel like because my wife may not do something sexual, I want to get it from outside people. That's just one example. There are numerous examples and numerous reasons why I can go on and on and on of why actual men of God that are married will go out and sleep with numerous women. But I want to make a point in this video message. The point that I want to make is this ladies once you know your value and once you know your worth you will not put yourself in a position to be hurt you will not put yourself in a position to be slandered you will not be put in a position where your reputation can get damaged in situations like this when a man of God in a position is in a situation that he gets caught more than likely he's not going to leave his family or leave his wife for you when the wife finds out that her husband cheated on her, she's more than likely not going to leave her husband. And the reason being is because it's so much to lose and it's so much at stake. Sometimes men of God will mess with women that is on their level, meaning they will sleep with outside of their wife. They will sleep with a woman that works with them closely. They will sleep with a woman that's a pastor or a first lady, too. They will sleep with a woman that is a minister or an elder or a deacon. It's not all the time that these men are men, I'm sorry, are having affairs that they are going to women without a title or power or position. Sometimes they mess with women that is exactly as I stated, they're equal because they want somebody to have as much to lose as they do. But I want you women to understand one thing in these type of situations. When you open a door for this in the end, that man will have sex with you and get everything he wants for you from you. And he'll leave you there with a wet behind. And he will go right back home to his wife. And when people find out that you are the one that slept with the bishop or the elder or the minister or whoever, they will crucify you and slay you verbally. And they will call you the troublemaker. They will call you the whore. They will say that you were the demon sent by the enemy to take down the man of God. This is what people will begin to say about you. But I want you women to know this. Stop letting lust trick you. Stop letting lust trick you and stop letting lust deceive you. Let me break down what I mean. When you see a man in a position of power and the anointing and hand of God is on him strong, sometimes you get caught up in that. You're looking at how well he dresses. You're looking at how good he prophesies. You're looking at how he preaches. You're looking at the fire God every time he opens his mouth. How it seems like fire is coming out of his mouth and you're drawn to that. You are lusting after that. You love it. It makes him look even more appealing and more attractive he may not even necessarily be handsome but with the anointing of God um flowing through him you may feel and think that hey he's cute he's handsome but I want to tell each and every woman something I want you ladies to know that you are valuable and you are worth it and you do not have to be any man's side piece what you women don't understand that do this, and I say this with love and all compassion, you are not thinking about your future if you are a single woman sleeping with a man of God, because I'm going to be real. There are other married women that will sleep with the man of God. OK, but I'm not going to touch on them right now. I'm talking to you single women that sometimes will sleep with the man of God in position that I marry. You are not thinking about your future. And this is your homework. And I'm going to end the video message. I want you to understand that when you are single and when you are sleeping with somebody else, husband or somebody else, man, you're not thinking, hey, one day I want a husband. I want a husband. And it would really bother you if you knew a woman came in and you're married and she took your husband away from you or slept with your husband. You're not thinking that way. The saying goes the way you get a man is the way you lose a man. And so I do believe that that's true to a certain extent for some people. I, I, I believe that. I believe that if you get a man because you had an affair and you cheated, one day he's going to walk away from you and he's going to cheat with another woman. 
That's how it goes. Nothing good will ever come out of that. In the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 6 and 32, it states, a man that commits adultery lacks understanding. And what that means is that that man is full blown in his flesh. He's lacking the understanding of how having an affair can destroy. Well, it is destroying not only his spirit and himself, but it's destroying his wife and her mental state and emotional state. And it's destroying his marriage overall. That's what that scripture means. And so at the end of the day, God knows all about it. God sees it. But ladies, I want you to come out of situations like this. I don't care if you broke. I don't care if you are a poor woman. I don't care if you've never really had a man that you felt loved you. At the end of the day, do not put yourself in a position to sleep with the man of God. This goes on all the time. This goes on all the time. And sometimes men of God will use their position to take advantage of a woman that is spiritually weak or a woman that struggles with the spirit of lust. That's what my video message is. Ladies, think about this. And I, I want you to consider coming out of the affair because at the end like I said before that man is not gonna leave his wife or his family for you he's not going to it's too much to lose it's too much at stake sometimes that couple will fight because they truly do love each other but sometimes they fight because it's a lot to lose it could be their own property it could be they have a lot of money they don't want that shame to uh be on them so strong to where they ended their marriage because of some sex so they will work through that and they will fight through that. But I'm telling you, women, know your worth and know your value. God will deliver you. He will set you free. Don't ever put yourself in a position to be used and taken advantage of, especially by a man in power.